Did you just recently purchase an M1 Mac? Well, throw it in the garbage because it's pretty much worthless uh, because the next generation M2 chips are coming down the pipeline very soon. Uh, Apple has already started testing several variants of the M2 chip with at least nine new Macs in development. Also, I'm kidding, your M1 Mac is perfectly fine. It's going to be a great machine for the next however many years to come, so don't throw it away. Uh, but this is just the life that we live, where technology is moving and expanding and growing rapidly. And it seems like yesterday we were just introduced to the first wave of Apple Silicon, but now Apple is already working on devices with not only just the standard M2 chip, but also the M2 Pro, the M2 Max, and a successor to the M1 Ultra, which what I can only assume would be called the M2 Ultra. And the devices that are going to carry these machines include a new MacBook Air with an M2 chip that features an eight core CPU and a 10 core GPU. There's also a new Mac Mini with the M2 chip as well as a variant with the M2 Pro chip, an entry level 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 chip, and a new set of 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro models. So again, this is where it makes me sad to say that if you just bought an M1 Pro and an M1 Max MacBook Pro, well, the new M2 Pro and M2 Max chips with those new MacBooks could be on the way. And that M2 Max is set to feature a 12 core CPU and 38 core GPU along with 64 gigs of memory. Then there's also a Mac Pro that will include the successor to the M1 Ultra used in the latest Mac Studio. According to Bloomberg, the internal testing is a key step in the development process, and it suggests that the machines could be released in the coming months. We've heard multiple rumors about a new MacBook Air, and I'll touch on that more in just a minute, an updated 13-inch MacBook Pro, a Mac Pro, and a new Mac Mini. But this is the first that we're hearing of a possible 14 and 16-inch MacBook Pro refresh that could be coming this year. Now, prior rumors have suggested that we can expect to see the MacBook Air, a low-end MacBook Pro, and a Mac Mini come out in 2022, and Bloomberg has previously said that at least two Macs will launch mid-year, perhaps at WWDC 2022. Most of these machines sort of remain a bit of a question mark when it comes to features and you know how the design is going to be, et cetera, et cetera, uh, except for the internal upgrades. Obviously, we know that the M2 chip's going to be a big part of what's coming internally, uh, but there are a couple of Macs that we do have more info on. In terms of the MacBook Air, we've been talking about this machine for quite some time now. We are expecting the MacBook Air to get a pretty significant redesign. It will be thinner and lighter than current versions. However, it's going to come in multiple colors that could be very similar to what you get with the new iMacs that are currently available. And rumors have indicated that this machine will feature slim off-white bezels and a matching off-white keyboard, which I'm actually pretty excited to see a Mac with a white keyboard again these days. Now, if you're hoping that this MacBook Air will have a mini LED display, it's not going to, but it might feature a notch, though this rumor is still iffy to me since the off-white color of the bezel might make the notch far more noticeable and looking at renders, I don't know if that's gonna look super great. Now, the Mac Pro was also expected to get a bit of a redesign, but it turns out the smaller Mac Pro that was rumored turned out to be the Mac Studio. The new Mac Pro is now expected to retain the same stainless steel frame and aluminum housing as before, housing with dual-sided logic boards and easy access to the interior for adding and removing components. There's been no word on whether the thermal architecture will change, and it will still feature the same three-dimensional interlocking hemispheres for heat dissipation purposes. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what type of components that we can remove and upgrade and the level of modularity that users are gonna be able to do on their own, since the CPU and GPU and memory are all really just tied into the Apple Silicon chip. It's all one system. This could lead to maybe more PCIe slots being the modular focus. Maybe the SSD can be messed with, but of course I am looking forward to seeing what Apple is going to do with this machine in the coming months. And I'm also looking forward to seeing what you think about all of these new Macs that are in development. I know the first instinct is to be upset when you just purchased a, let's say new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro and you're super happy with it because it's great. And then you see that there's gonna be a new, uh, stronger, better machine in the future. But that's just life. Again, 
again. This is always going to happen, so you shouldn't really let that become an issue. What is really great for those who've been holding out, it doesn't look like you have to wait too much longer for the next generation Apple Silicon, as they could be coming very, very soon. So of course, let me know in the comments down below what you think about everything that we just talked about in this video, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss more videos from us in the future. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.